Andover's Competitive Robotics Club has been making has been meeting for the past five years, but a new program this year offers robotics as an interscholastic team sport, counting as an athletic requirement for students. The program is headed by Carolina Artacho Guerra and Robert Hickman, and meets four times a week in the fall and winter term. Competing in competitions that take space that take place on Saturdays. Here's reporter Ben Fu with more on the story. Uh, thank you. The new Robotics as a Sport initiative was developed by Director of Academy Research, Information, and Library Services, Michael Barker, Dean of Studies, Clive Beckwith, and Athletic Director, Lisa Joel. According to um, Artacho, the competitive team was implemented as an, as an alternative to the existing club. The sport option serves to lessen time commitments that would otherwise arise from other athletics. The reason is because if you do want to get uh, competitive, uh, competitive robotics um, that is sustainable, mm -hmm. um, you need to dedicate the time and the energy yeah. and the research in the school, right? And so, um, so it's not it's not fair to ask students to put all of their time into academics and then sports and then the hard oh, okay. and then on top of it make a ridiculous commitment time to actually be part of a team. The Robotics as a Sport program has a similar, similar level of commitment as other team sports. The team meets weekly to design, build, and engineer robots. Throughout the year, the team will compete against other schools in the VEX Robotics competition. Because this is the robotics team's first year, Coach Hickman hopes to ensure the program's success. The goal for the first year is just to have a successful, fun year where all of these different students from these different backgrounds feel like they've been welcome and had had a contribution and they've worked and collaborated well together and you know had a successful experience. And uh, I hope that we go very far in the competition cycle, but that's not the hard, that's not the absolute goal of this first year. So I think the goal of first year is to just have a really successful program. And um, we're on a good start with the, being able to put three different teams in contrast with the club, the robotics team has more faculty support and coaching resources. While the club still exists for students who have existing athletic commitments, those on the team will have more time and resources to focus on robotics. According to Hickman, the club and team are meant to complement each other. The team has more time, has dedicated uh, coaching resources, and has a, uh, more, more resources in terms of going to competitions and building more robots. So the club still exists and it's there, it's available for students who are unable to join the team because they're, uh, you know, they have a prior sports commitment that they want to uh, stick to. Um, so the big difference is, um, you know, they have less time to build. Uh, they don't have as much uh, direct mentorship support. Uh, you know, from the faculty and the makerspace staff, and um, they won't be fielding as many competition robots as the team will be. The team members this year come from a range of different experience levels, from beginners to those who have participated in robotics for years. However, the team's backgrounds don't just differ in experience. Club co-heads CC Son and Coach Hickman weigh in on the diversity of this year's team. It's really important to me that like women are getting into STEM and engineering and um, our sport team right now actually has 19 people um, and I think there's one more girl than boy so like that's already so cool to see. It's a very good cross-sectional representation of all the different nationalities and races and genders that we have on campus. And so out of our 19 students we have 10 girls and 9 boys so we have a fantastic balance. That's not always found in the robotics team, so I'm especially excited by that. And we have students who come from all over the world. So, to me, the robotics team that we're, we're starting with is a, the best representation of what we have in our PA student body. According to Hickman, the team will not focus too much on competition for the first year, but it has been successful and productive nonetheless. Uh, I hope that we go very far in the competition cycle, but that's not the that's not the absolute goal of this first year. So I think the goal of first year is to just have a really successful program, and um, we're on a good start with the, being able to put three different teams in three different competing groups into a competition. 
Um, after that, we want to just build that cumulative experience year after year after year, where students of different skill levels are sharing with one another and teaching one another and coming up through a robotics program and gaining more and more skills and more understanding, um, um, more and more creativity and innovation. Ben Fu, reporting.